Are you ready to fall in love all over again? Well, we sure are gonna give you all the feels. From tales of first love to heartbreak and second chances, you really don't want to miss any of this. Whether you're a diehard fan or just looking for a new show to binge watch, the year 2023 promises to deliver some truly exceptional delight. But what makes these stand out from the rest? Stay tuned as we dive into the best romance anime and why they are worth adding to your watch list. Number 8. Tomo-chan is a Girl Originally written by Fumita Yanagida, this seinen anime is bringing something new to the table as it follows a tomboy coming to terms with her femininity so that she can confess to her childhood best friend. Ooh, that's so spicy. Wow. Tomboy leads are frequently completely unaware of the affection of all the boys fawning over them. Junichiro, Tomo Aizawa's best friend, is unable to get past her tomboy image and refuses to even entertain the notion that she is a girl. The dude couldn't even accept the fact. In contrast to traditional stereotypes where tomboyish character frequently transforms their entire persona to please their spouse. Tomo is desperate to have Junichiro recognize her femininity without abandoning her own style. If you have it already, go see Tomo-chan achieve her love without having to compromise her identity because the series already started in January of 2023. Number 7 Endo and Kobayashi Live, the latest on Sundere villainess Lisa Lot. That sure is a long name for an anime, right? I know, but don't judge this show by its long title because the popularity of the subgenre of villainess won't be declining anytime soon. This recent anime from Tezuka Productions debuted in January 2023 and centers around the characters Endo and Kobayashi, two high school students who learn that Prince Sigwald Fitzenhagen, the fiancé of the villain Lisa Lot, in their otome game, a magical romance can hear their voices. As the two high school students shout advice to Lisa Lot's fiancé, the futures of all the characters are altered. This romantic comedy by Suzu and Oshima is quite odd to watch since unlike the typical isekai anime when individuals are transferred into various realms, there's only a slight connection between the two. This makes it super interesting and finally, something fresh to binge! Number 6. A Galaxy Next Door The manga by Guido Amagakure is the inspiration for the movie A Galaxy Next Door, which follows struggling manga artist Ichiro Kuga as he juggles taking care of his younger siblings all while maintaining his artistic career. Ichiro's condition gets worse when his assistant departs. Things take an interesting turn when a strange enigmatic beauty knocks on his door. Chiori Goshiki claims that she's not only a gifted artist but also engaged. Ichiro is left to divide his duties between his younger brothers, his new fiancé and himself. According to the teaser, the chemistry between the two seems to develop quickly. A Galaxy Next Door by Asahi Productions has incredibly compelling animation and the show's playful love theme is perfectly complemented by the show's colorful tones. And guess when this anime is going to come out? If you guessed spring, you're right! Number 5. Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts Prepare yourself for a fresh take on Beauty and the Beast. This time by Yu Tomofuji, Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts is a fantasy romance shoujo anime from JC Staff Studio, which you might remember for making other shows like Toradora, Bakuman, Food Wars, etc. A momentous event occurs when 15-year-old Sarifi is transported from her village to the realm of Osmargo as a sacrifice to the monarch. Sarifi is voiced by the incredibly prolific Kana Hanazawa, who is well known for appearances as Chiyama. Aki Nanami in Danganronpa Free, Akane Sunemori in Psycho Pass, and Kanade Tachibana from Angel Beats. All these characters can vouch for how good it's gonna be this time. Airing in April of 2023, this sure is going to lift your mood up this spring. Number 4. The Ice Guy and His Cool Female Colleague Directed by Mankyu and produced by Studio Zero G, this show offers an office romance like no other. The Ice Guy and His Cool Female Colleague are an anime series based on the Miyuki Tonogaya manga series, which was produced by Zero G, the same production company that brought you My Roommate is a Cat. Some of the staff members have superpowers or we can also say that they are descended from Yokai. The two major characters of the novel are Fuyutsuki, who exude coolness, and Void, who can freeze everything when he becomes extremely furious. In contrast to the conventional sad leading man, Himuro is genuinely sweet and beautiful. When he first meets his co-worker Fuyutsuki, he really freezes. 
giving the impression that they instantly click. Based on the trailer, the anime appears to be extremely lovely and wouldn't it be interesting to see how Himuro balances his feelings for his co-worker using his paranormal abilities? It sure would! The Ice Guy and his cool female colleague already started airing in January of 2023 and everyone is loving it! Number 3. Masamune-kun Revenge R Nothing is worse than being rejected by your crush when you're still a little child. Because of this, Masamune-kun, the main character, didn't take it well when his childhood buddy and crush, Aki Adagaki, gave him the cold shoulder. Masamune Makabe thus committed his life to become the ideal princely gentleman so that one day he could get revenge on Aki. The anime's second season will debut in April 2023 and you know what the most exciting part is? This complicated love triangle appears to continue with the dramatic cliffhanger that the first season's finale left us with. Although Masamune's only motivation was to get revenge, it's indicated throughout the episodes that Aki's rejection may have been more complicated than she initially revealed. Isn't it gonna be intriguing to watch how the series will continue with the backstory? And there's no word about the plot or what will be adapted from the manga. We all are open to imagination. Most of the original actors will be returning to the roles of the key characters, including Masamune, Aki, Yoshino, and Neko. With an all-star cast like that, this series is definitely gonna be a banger. Number 2. The Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten Amane is a young boy who lives alone in an apartment and the most gorgeous girl in school, Mahiru, resides just next door. Mahiru, being everyone's favorite oddball, might have never spotted him if Amane had not helped her in need on a rainy day by giving her his umbrella. They had hardly ever spoken. Mahiro returns the favor by offering to help him around the house, and as their separation narrows, a connection slowly starts to take shape. Amane never imagined that the exotic beauty at school whom everyone refers to as an angel would agree to help him around the house. This slow-paced spark is all you need this spring. The series will probably become an instant sensation among devoted lovers of romance anime, thanks to the dynamic shown in the teaser for The Angel Next Door Spoils Me Rotten and the enigmatic romance between the two protagonists. Antagonists. This slice of life has been written by Saiki-san and will be released this spring. Sounds like a nice way to ring in the new year, right? Number 1. Opus Colors Over 10 years have passed since perception art first emerged in the art world. It now permeates every aspect of modern life and adds a color to people's lives. With the goal of one day becoming a perception artist, Yamanashi Kazuya, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Yamanashi, the famed artist and creators of perception art, has just enrolled in in Aizen High School, which is a prestigious art school. While on the other hand, Kazuya was aiming for something else. Takise Kyo, who's a junior studying in perception art at Aizen High School, is the daughter of a well-known grader and the originator of perception arts. He was Kazuya and Jun's childhood friend, but he has avoided them for a long time. Unrecoverable scars were present in Kyo's heart. An aspect of this series also aims to win back another childhood friend who withdrew from him following an incident that happened 10 years ago. These multiple storylines sound really captivating. Overall, this seems like a distinct romance animation from Studio C Station. You might not know this, but the director Shunsuke Tada has worked on other shows like Kuroko's Basketball, Hunter x Hunter, and countless more which are scheduled to begin airing in April of 2023 along with Opus Colors. Don't forget to watch Opus Colors in the coming spring. Let us know in the comments below which one of these looks the most interesting to you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for for more videos.